If you are new to T-Worlds, there is a good chance that you are unaware of a very important hook mechanic. If you've ever felt that your hook was too slow and sluggish, it might have been because of a hidden phenomenon which many call strong and weak hook. Well, what exactly is strong and weak hook? Between two T's, one T will always have a stronger hook on the other, and the other T will have a weaker hook. As you can see, the strong hook pulls the T much further and faster since it has more strength. The weak hook is slower and doesn't drag the T far. By the way, if your hook is strong when you pull a T, you are said to have strong hook on the T. Now that we know what strong and weak hook is, how do you determine and change who has strong and weak hook? It's pretty easy to see if you have strong or weak on someone. If you hook someone while you are both on the ground and they don't really get close to you, you have weak. On the other hand, if they are dragged until they are standing right next to you, you have strong. So how do you change who is strong and weak? Well, between two T's, the game will give whichever T that has been alive for longer the strong hook on the other T. So, if you have strong hook on a T and you die, you will then have weak hook on the same T assuming that the other T did not die too. Now, on some DDNet maps, there are ways to give other T's strong without having to die. If you type slash spec into the chat, you will be moved to the spectators. Typing it again will move you back into the game and will give all other T's strong on you. If you don't want to type in slash spec every time you want to give someone strong, you can always bind it in F1. Typing bind Q say slash spec will make you go into spectators every time you press Q. Keep in mind that spec doesn't always work in every map. Normally novice and moderates do not have spec enabled, while most brutals and most insanes do. Keep in mind that if you have strong hook on one T, it doesn't necessarily mean you have strong hook on all the T's. You can have strong hook on some T's and weak hook on other T's. In any group of T's, only one T will have strong hook on all the other T's, and only one T will have weak hook on all the other T's. All the rest of the T's will have strong hook on some T's and weak hook on the others. At this point, it seems like having weak hook would really suck, and in fact it does. There are only a few things you can do with weak hook, such as reverse speed fly and some other glitches such as this stopper glitch. Strong and weak hook is actually caused because of a bug in the game's code. For as long as anyone has known, strong and weak hook has been a bug in T-Worlds. It was first reported back in 2011. The reason is that the velocity calculation of characters is order dependent. Despite developers saying that it should be fixed, strong and weak hook was never officially fixed. However, many servers removed weak hook on their own. The weak hook fix was developed by Qshar and is active on COG, Nobi FNG, and Bombay.